Hey there guys, this is Nintendo Death Machine here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is part 8, and I'm on a chest, and I've been here for the past day, and I think my claustrophobia is starting to, click, starting to kick in. <laughs> so we gotta get out of here. Get out of this cave! And, um, what we was gonna do, well, what we are gonna do in this episode is go and get the next mask that we wanted to go and get. Or that I mentioned in the last video that we was going to go ahead and get a mask. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Also, there is something else I want to do. Go away, snowman. Jack Frost. Ugh. <laughs> that was cool. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. But there is one thing that we do want to go ahead and do first before we go ahead and get that mask. Oh, you stupid... Leavers, aren't they called, I think? Leave us. Yeah, leave me alone. Dude. Well, I sound so boring today. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably because I feel so tired after... I don't know. I haven't really had that much sleep. Yesterday I had a lot of sleep and that's why I was full of gusto and ready to get ready recording and I was so energetic yesterday and now I just feel like a zombie. <laughs> that's just arisen from the dead. I mean, this morning I, um... I had to get up for college, and I slept right through almost half of the first lesson, and that was pretty bad. Wait, is it still night time? Seriously? It is, isn't it? Ugh. Well, the bell is tolling. I guess we can wait and I can explain a few things if there is anything that needs to be explained, which I don't really think there is. To be honest, I can't think of anything. Hmm. Well, I did have a little rant to myself yesterday about superhero movies and stuff like that. <laughs> I know, having a little rant to myself sounds a bit weird, but there you go. Uh, I was saying that super... I was thinking that superhero movies... Well, I don't think I know that superhero movies always start off with some guy or some girl discovering her superpowers and trying to save the world, but... The way how they do it is just so original, like Spider-Man is, I don't know, the way how they do it is just so original. Same with slasher movies, I don't really, I'm a huge f horror f fan, I watch a lot of horror films, but the genre of slasher movies, I do not watch those movies, because they're all the same thing. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Scream is basically just... Well, the best definition I can give about slasher movies is that they're all the same movies because it always involves some guy in a mask chasing a bunch of teenagers around a house and trying to kill them. That's basically what slasher movies are. Well, to me, that's what they are. Anyway. I mean, a lot of people like those kind of movies, but I'm just not the one for slasher movies. I like pure horror films. That really put you on the edge of your seat. Like that has a really, um, really good plot line, and something that interests you and pulls you into the movie and makes you really interested. But I guess that could work with slasher movies if he was interested in slasher movies. But I'm just saying that I'm not interested in those films whatsoever. Anyway, we got ourselves another piece of heart. Yay! Hooray! It's not even Valentine's Day yet. We've got our piece of heart. Well, no, wait. Yes. Yes, we have two pieces of heart. We don't have a full heart, though. Uh, but we will soon. Someday. Someday. <clears throat> so, um... My recording schedule... Uh, for these next few days, I'm just going to put one video up every day and see how that goes. Because... Yesterday I recorded about 20, well, 16 minute video, and that, oh no, I forgot about this bird. Yeah, this bird. Oh boy. Don't even get me started on this thing. It, basically what this bird does, it takes your sword. And, and I can't even... Dude, he didn't take my sword. Oh, thank God for that. This is probably the most annoyingest enemy in the frigging game right here. Because when it takes your sword... You have to go all the way back to the curiosity shop at 10 o'clock at night to retrieve your sword. And that is 
so freaking annoying, trust me. You don't want that happening. Because as soon as he hits you, you're screwed. Because he will take your sword, that would be the first thing he takes. And he'll drop it off at the curiosity shop. And trust me, for the life of me, when he first did that, I didn't know what the hell just happened. I, I was like, dude, you just nicked my sword. And um, I was wandering around Termina Field and looking all over for about most of the day, trying to find out how you get your sword back. And only recently, to be honest, like a few months ago, I actually found out that it gets taken to the curiosity shop. And I was like, oh right, that's where it is, because that's basically where all the pawned, where all the pawned off stuff gets, or where all the stuff gets pawned off at. And no, I didn't mean porn as in, you know, uh, 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 porn, I mean, no, <laughs> porn as in, like, pawning things off in, you know, shops, <laughs> like jewellery, you know, that kind of porn. Right, let's get... Uh, let's get a map of this area. I think we have enough money. We have 26 rupees. What the hey? Let's see. Wait, I haven't seen this animation yet. I swear I did. Or have, I, have I even put on the Deku mask since episode... What was it now? Five? Wow, I, c I can't remember. But I swear I did. Unless it was in one of my... C one of my, um... Cuts, or one of my failed recording sessions and uh, in my final recording session I obviously didn't put it on what's the screen close white furry so could you by chance be a forest furry oh my my name is Tingle I think I'm the same as you sir a forest furry alas the way I'm already age 35 no furries come to me yet bloody blah 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 we've already had this before you got a very big red nose and you're happy lucky lucky you're so lucky to have a furry I know I know we should be friends yes yes in exchange I'll sell you a map of cheapest front uh, we want to buy Romani Ranch because that is the next area we'll be going to and it's the cheapest map that we can buy out of all the maps that you can buy from here which is Great Bay which was the other map that we could buy well call again Tingle Tingle Kalu Limpa these are the magic words Tingle created himself don't steal them oh don't worry I will steal them because I just did I just said it <laughs> <coughs> Right, so this guy right here. Now you see this massive boulder right in front of us? Yeah, it seems like it's going to take him forever to knock that boulder down. I mean, look. He's been at this for since day one. And he's still on day two hammering at that thing. Trying to... Having false hope that he's going to actually break that thing. Well, basically what we've got to do is skip time to the final day. And the boulder would have broken. He would have hammered and hammered and hammered at that thing for three days straight and it would have and he would have successfully knocked it down by then so let's go to the third day the final day the sky on the final day looks really weird it's all green and you'll see when we get to the final day that the sky is all green which is kind of cool okay. one of the final day 24 hours remaining basically if you slash gossip stones in this game it indicates it tells you how many hours you have left I'll just show you this just in case you guys want to see only 23 23 hours and 54 minutes remaining yeah basically just tells you how much time you got left now Romani Ranch um, this place is a very cool place very weird as well it's got the same music as the Lon Lon Ranch did in Ocarina of Time if you come here on the first day which you will do later on in the game but we can't obviously because we don't have the items to actually blow up that obstacle our bombs isn't powerful enough to get rid of that thing but when you come here on the first day everything's all lively and happy and joyful and cheery but on the final day and the second day if you don't do the event that's meant that is placed here all this devastation everything's just completely ruined depressed depressing yes very depressing <coughs> and uh... 
Yeah, this is where you get to first see opponent as well. I should go ahead and show you guys this right now. That moon looks so evil. <laughs> With an evil grin on his face. Isn't that your horse? Isn't that my hoas? Hoas? My hoas? My hoas. Hoers. <laughs> yeah, that is my hoers, and I ride her every day. <laughs> now that's just disgusting, Lewis. Ugh, God. Balloons. Very Halloween balloons. To be honest, Halloween is very close now, actually. Only two more weeks, I think, left until Halloween. Huh? You? Who? Who are you again? Oh, you look very troubled. Yeesh, something bad's happened here. As you can tell, the roof is completely destroyed on that building there. Anyway, there is nothing here that we can do, so we're going to go ahead and do what we was meant to, or what we intended, intentionally intended on coming here for, and that is getting this mask. Now this is a very fun mask to get and it's a very useful mask like I said in the last episode. Seriously, you you do not even understand how useful this mask is and I'm glad that they actually allow you to get this mask this early in the game for various reasons. But you'll find that out when we get it so let's go ahead and do this. Right. God, man, it, you look like a complete zombie with those blank eyes. I heard it from my gramps, says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take the ranch down with it. Ah. Uh, yeah, yes, it's a very depressing world, isn't it? Let's liven the place up with a little music. No, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> my only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. Aw. You wanna see these guys turn to roosters? Well. I guess we can do that for you by using the duck mask, even though it looks nothing like a duck. <laughs> a falcon mask. Falcon punch! Right, let's get these birds. And what this, if you play the Bremen mask, all these birds will start following you in a line. And what you gotta do here is get all these birds. What are those marshmallow things, those marshmallow chicken pop things that you put in the microwave and if you put them in the microwave they all explode? I forgot what they're called now. Ugh. And they use them at, um, they use them at Easter time. I think they're called chicks. They wouldn't be called chicks, no. I think they're called tweets. I, I, eh. I can't remember now. But yeah, when you put them in the microwave, they explode and marshmallow go everywhere. <laughs> if anyone knows, feel free to tell me. I'll put it in the comment if you want to. i just completely <laughs> forgotten what they are. But that's what they remind me of. Because I've seen them on, I've seen people put them in the microwave on YouTube and... It leaves the microwave in a very messy, uh, very messy state. I don't want to clean that crap up. Yeesh. <laughs> Get sticky hands, that's what she said. God, where's this last amount of chickens? All these cuckoos. Can't seem to find them. Or chicks. Well, they would be called chicks because the chicks is the first stage of a chicken. You know, you go chick and then chicken. Yeah. Where is this last one, dude? I think I saw one around here somewhere, waddling around out in the open. I think he went over here actually. <clears throat> yeah, the last few ones can be really hard to find because they do hide in very good places and they don't always stay in the same area. They they always wander around all over the place so it's kind of hard to find them sometimes. Some of them even hide under the bushes and they get camouflaged because they're so tiny. Have I checked over there? On this side, on that side of the area? Yeah, I see one right there. I think that's our last one, actually. Let's go ahead and get it. You're mine. Prepare to join the line of cookery. Cookery. <laughs> cookery.
Alright, so who's going to be first off the KSC then, huh? Raise your hands, <laughs> or raise your feathers. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. With great pleasure. This is the Bonnie Hood. My, what long is it has? With the power of the wilds, will the power of the wild spring forth? Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> right, so now that we have the Bunny Hood, holy crap. This mask is ridiculously useful, and I will show you exactly why it is. <laughs> you want to see? You want to see the power of this mask? You want to see what this mask really does? Well, let's go ahead and do this. Sprint forward! Way We're on steroids! <laughs> yeah, we can go super fast now, because we have the bunny hood. And basically it's the same what it did in Ocarina of Time, if you give the bunny hood to the running man who's running around outside Rom Rom Ranch, and that's the part of the mask quest for the happy mask salesman. You can see, you can wa you can watch him running around Hyrule, f Hyrule Field with the bunny hood, and he's running at an extremely fast pace. <laughs> but yeah, that's what the bunny hood does in this game: is gives you an extra boost in sprinting, makes you, allows you to run faster. Uh, I'm not missing anything here, am I? Well, there is a dog race over there, but we're not going to do that just yet because we need a certain mask to actually do that. Per perfectly and I'm not really the one for gambling so yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna because I suck at gambling I always get the wrong ones because if you don't have the certain mask that you need to actually do that thing properly you have to gamble all your money away <clears throat> and it's a very big risk you're taking especially for the um, amount of rupees we can actually contain in our wallet because if you if you post 50 rupees in the deposit thing and your dog becomes first place you get triple the amount I think you bet it on or is it double I can't remember but yeah and you also get a piece of heart if your dog wins in first place all depending on how much you bet it on in the race but I'm not going to do that any anytime soon I'll probably even do that as like last minute preparation stuff before we go on to the final boss, but that is ages away from now, so I'm not even going to get into that. <clears throat> uh, is there anything? No, there's nothing around here that we can do, so let's get out of here. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode, because in the next episode, we'll be heading off into the next area, which is the swamp. Yep, because we've pretty much cleared out everything here, to be honest. Yeah. Whew. So you know what, I'll meet you guys in Clock Town in the next video and I'll deposit off my money which is only 15 rupees unless I grind for some more off screen. And uh, we'll go to the first day and start off the swamp. So until then this is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.